<clears throat> Welcome back. The first 11 minutes of this video will be from private uh, videos. What was happening is that people were claiming I was seeing things. And I recorded some video of some of what was going on and was afraid to show it because then that would get me into stays of detention. Not a very good one, but it is what it is. This one is very interesting. And if you look right down here in this corner, in this bottom corner, you will see things in this video that if you take um, individual still pictures are pretty amazing. Here we go with the video. I uh, determined that this was actually Christmas lights on a neighbor's tree outside. That's what the lights are. What happened one time when I was in my bedroom with the blind slats open just a little bit. A focused light came into the view and moved around. So they were using some sort of surveillance on my actual property and shining it into my window. So what they did was uh, used real surveillance equipment so that I would take pictures of lights outside my windows trying to get proof. That people were fucking with me. It took me a while to catch on to what they were doing.
and uh, I spent probably, oh, I don't know, I'm going to say three years worth trying to capture on film what was going on because I thought that it was related to what they were saying in my head using V2K, and I wanted that to stop. So I figured if I was able to get actual proof with pictures or video that I would then be able to get somebody to seriously look into the other things. What I found out is that they do not look into anybody's claim of electronic harassment. You're completely on your own and nobody will talk to you and try and get torture to stop in the United States of America. It's a good thing that I have found evidence of other things. And that's what I'm trying to get the Columbus Division of Police to take a look at. But they're convinced they know all the answers. They don't know that I've got proof of other things. So the Columbus Division of Police believe that I'm crazy. And do not believe in the torture that's going on. And where would they get an idea like that? Well, they would get it from the neighbors. Where would neighbors get that idea? Probably from Patty, because that's what she said the Secret Service said when they came out to visit. So the two men that posed as Secret Service not only set me up to have a real diagnosis, but also got all of the neighbors to believe it before it actually was a diagnosis that I had. I have a rather long bit of details that go along with the video at certain intervals of the video.
That's a street light. And Patty's lights blink. But some of that is because of the recording on the film, and others of it is because of tree branches that get in the way that make them blink. It also has a blinking effect because the lead inside of the windows creates a sag. So it's not a completely flat piece of glass anymore. It's thicker and thinner in some areas. Meanwhile, nobody has bothered to talk to me about anything. They've just all assumed stuff. And I'm more misunderstood than any person in the entire country. And I have important answers to questions having to do with genocide that are government sponsored that are really happening. So I guess hundreds of millions are going to die. They're going to die because my captors are too afraid to come forward and expose this weapon. If the FBI even bothered to look, of course, illegally through my camera roll and seeing all of the pictures, they would have drawn a conclusion too without talking to me. And it seems that this is the way that people do investigations. Now that we're done with private videos, we move on. February 10th, 2021. Laptop camera view of JAW. Dental interior ridge. I'll go ahead and focus on the words for a minute so that you can press pause to read it. Because I'm not going to spend all my time talking. So there's this part. And that's all of it. Good. Here we go. On for the show. Hey there, everybody. Um, so it's me again, and I was just trying to go to bed and had a difficult time doing that, knowing that I had some chunks of gum that were in the back area of my mouth 
that uh, came apart very easily from the jawline and jawbone. So, let's take a gander what we got going on. There's big gaps that didn't used to be there. And I've got dental records that proved it. It really shouldn't. So I don't know when someone's going to believe me about what's going on. I don't know who else I need to contact. The answer is nobody. Because nobody will come to the rescue. So, it uh, scarily looks like an all around the mouth of event of losing tooth after tooth because I don't know how to make the disintegration of my jawbone and my gums and my teeth actually um, to stop. I don't have that knowledge. Somebody in the neighborhood does. And they better speak up. Because this is getting grosser and grosser by the minute. And... Do disintegration of human bone along the inside of my jawbone. Here, I explain how my jaw bone has disappeared on the inside of my lower teeth. You know the area where your tongue sits? I now have a huge gaping cavern. I used to have a ridge. My teeth are barely on that ridge right now. They're held in place. The teeth are held in place by a splint going from canine to canine. So you can see that the roof of my mouth actually... Whoops. Extends beyond. where it should and goes forward of my actual teeth. The lower section is the same way. I've had um, larger chunks of um, gum tissue pull apart from the jawbone in the back, so I'm a little bit concerned about the size of the holes that will exist between my teeth. There sure is a march towards continuing this path of silence and violence. I encourage everyone to take a moment and 
read our Freedom in Peril on Facebook. It's 25 short chapters that maybe can change the world. Still available on Facebook if you're interested. For free, because I'm a slave. Do effect. Here's the caption. Inflamed, recessed upper tissue and vanished lower tissue is the title. Here are the words. And if you're interested in reading it, you will need to press pause right now. Okay, on to the video. Hey there, everybody. It's Rem. I had a um, very long day of melting gums happening. Um, I took pictures of my teeth and the <clears throat> lower part down here has absolutely no gum where there used to be gum just even a week or two ago. The upper part You can see big gaps that didn't used to be there before. Um, there's also some boring or uh, development of holes that has started to uh, become a part of the gum tissue landscape of my mouth. This is being done by individuals. It's sad to say. I wish it wasn't. I wish I could easily point to something and say, you know, if this is the cause, then it can be controlled. I've been a smoker for over 20 years and um, I have a gum recession chart from 2016, which I'm sorry, 2014, which shows only minimal um, recession. But in order to keep my front teeth, what I had done was a gum graft. And it's really kind of cool. What they do is they take a cube of your inner upper gum which actually is regenerating and they graft it by sewing it onto an area of the outer gum it's a process um but it was in order to maintain gum along the front edge of my mouth well, you can see how that's worked out. <laughs> I don't know what I can do. By many, I'm a model citizen, but by my captors, I'm, you know, the devil spawn himself. I don't understand it. It is perfectly within everyone's rights to not like someone that is absolutely within somebody's rights. Plan and 
premeditate and create obstacles, pitfalls, downfalls, stress in somebody's life that you don't like is not within your rights. Of course, since everything is being done invisibly, <laughs> I just get to experience it. deal with the uh, knowledge that my body is not my own. I have to grapple with the fact that other elements and things could be going on inside my body that I'm not even aware of um, that make it uh, challenging to live what I would say a full and meaningful life. I've often had dreams of uh, living to be a hundred years old and by the looks of it, I was pretty well on my way. Um, I'm very fit for nearly 50, flexible and athletic, not overweight at all. In fact, I'm underweight and everybody looks at that with suspicion. He's underweight. He's skinny. <laughs> um, now I don't know because of the complications that come with gum disease. There's a whole host of other ailments and cancers and uh, diseases that somebody develops as a result of their gums not being correct. I think my captors knew this. I think they played this quote game before. Or Maybe they were told this is the game that you play and are just simply following directions. I don't know. But it's really sick. It's like fatal attraction times 10. But you can never escape it. And the attraction is not for good. For 43 years of my life, I have had God right up here and heard his voice. <laughs> I've heard everybody else's voice under the sun for <laughs> the last five. I still hear God's voice. But where have all the additional ones come from? What group is doing this? And for what reason? I don't know. I'll have to think about it a little bit more. Hopefully tomorrow will be better than today. God bless. April 17th, 2019, the day I'll never forget. 
get a good load of this and freeze frame it if you want to read it because I'm not going to go through it with you. I don't want to spend all day on this. I've got more important things to do, like calling the lieutenant back, who hasn't called me back yet. Hey there, it's me again. A little bit later of the same day, the 9th of February, 2021. Um, while laying in bed and trying to go to sleep, my um, surfaces of my teeth and my gums were, again, um, in dis integration mode. The way that the gums feel is that they have a very um, fluid, I guess, uh, surface to them, higher up than the actual um, gum line. Right now what I'm experiencing is a, um, is a cool sensation on tips of teeth. Um, that are exposed to the air when I keep my mouth open. Maybe all of this is to keep my mouth shut. Well, I can still type. <laughs> I don't understand where somebody gets off with the idea that this is a uh, suitable weapon uh, for consumer use, especially as some sort of uh, bully tactic or tool in the set. It's the darndest thing in the world. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but it makes it really difficult to go to sleep knowing that uh, you are having less of a body every single day and nobody is coming to help. People are afraid to or they've been bullied, oh, imagine that, into being silent and not sharing the information they know. Or they might have shared the information they know and those people have just chosen not to do anything about it. Regardless, it just looks really bad all the way around. And I've said all along, talk to me, tell me what's going on. But I never get any response of any kind and just get to hear and observe things that just aren't quite right. I could be jumping to conclusions. This is true. It's possible. Why then would there be a falsified statement on April 17th, 2019? Where I was, quote, according to the pink slip, witnessed in my front yard with a megaphone, which I don't own, accusing neighbors of doing things. That afternoon, I was up in Delaware County purchasing my kitten, Asha. At the time the report was written, which was 4.44 p.m., I was just about to begin filling out the paperwork for my kitten a whole county away. So I don't know at what time I was out in my front yard with a megaphone accusing neighbors of doing things. Did Netscare receive any audio recording? Because if they did, I would love to have it. On top of that, 
on the same document. It shows the wrong check mark box. So technically, I did not need to be taken in for an evaluation on that occurrence and endured false imprisonment for a duration of six days, getting evaluated. Um, for some reason, I've been having a very difficult time finding somebody to, um, to handle that document and present it um, on my behalf to a judge or a magistrate or the police or or in that care um so it's still me alone doing the same thing spinning my wheels knowing i'm right and not getting anywhere <laughs> it's the strangest thing i've been so wronged <laughs> I just don't get it. So I don't think that all the neighbors are behind it, which is now what I guess everybody else thinks the situation is, you know, that uh, I'm paranoid thinking that my neighbors are out to get me. No, they would like me to go away so that they think the problem will go away. The problem isn't me. I'm the victim, and you've witnessed torture. <laughs> I don't know where it's coming from. I need your help. But you got on a bandwagon, and I don't know where it came from. But groups that like to use the technology would be in fine fitting, probably with groups that somebody, say, in the neighborhood might have connections to in order to check out some things or do whatever. Um, so if help was acquired, maybe there was additional help of technology. really make me move. Probably to a permanent different location because I don't know how, you know, people end up getting through this experience. I, I have. Um, until it ends, though, um, it's difficult to go through any sort of PTSD exercise or experience because it's still ongoing. Um, so that makes it difficult. But um, I've got faith that things are going to work out and I also have faith that people are better than they think they are. Not worse. So because of that, people will end up doing the right thing, which will mean that the right thing after that can have an opportunity to happen. Because I know one thing for sure, I'm not able to do anything in life, really until I get this resolved. So I need people doing the right thing so that I can become freed, so that I can spread a message of love and hope and intuition and faith. Because that's what's gotten me this far. It will see me the rest of the miles. Good night, everybody. Yeah.
And is that it? Oops. Come on. Come on. I can see this is going to be happening for a little while. I'd use my other laptop, but the mouse is broken. So I'm stuck using this. I am at the end. So that's all there is. This uh, section of the movie was very short. Today is the first day of winter, 2021. And uh, we're supposedly in for a very, very rough winter, according to President Biden, because obviously he has a magic ball. He has a crystal ball because the military industrial complex is going to make it a horrible winter for everybody. I pray that they don't follow through because uh, they're very serious about getting rid of people. This is a very serious plan. And it goes against everything that's American. And I'm standing up for people who are too afraid to stand up. I don't know what people's problems are. But uh, not standing up for your rights is one of the most dangerous things you could possibly do. If you accept the fact that your rights have been taken and you do nothing about it, you deserve to have them taken away. Please, stand up for the rights of others. Stand up for your own rights. And speak up. Because right now is the only opportunity we will have to fight. When the lights go out and it gets very cold, it will be too late. Because any rebellion or revolution that would come about at that time would, would be put down by the police and by the military. And we will be stuck with a military regime. This is serious. And I think the executive branch is going to give power to the military. And it's going to strip it away from the people. President Biden's a pussy. And he's about to do the unthinkable. Because it's what he's told to do. He'll go down as the last president in the United States of America if we let it happen. We need to stand up right now. Everybody's future depends on it. Those of you who have children, you have twice as much reason to stand up and say something. Don't be afraid, because if you are, your children will grow up in slavery. Freedom today does not exist. We have a microwave soup that we live in that is causing cancer. And in that microwave soup, there are beams that are directed at individuals that are slow kill murdering them. And fast kill. You want to know how COVID is happening? It's R&M. 
It's remote neural monitoring. If remote neural monitoring, monitoring were stopped, COVID would end. I would put all the money in the world on it. That's why they can't get rid of the program right now. Because COVID would clear up. We're not going through a pandemic. We're going through a panic that is being fueled by the media and by government. And they're evoking fear so that they can take over. Our nation was founded by a group of very intellectual thinkers. And we're about to turn it over to a bunch of people that don't think and just follow orders. What a bad idea. And nobody is standing up. Stand up! We have no time to waste. You need to call your senators and the next state over's senators and the next state after that and the next state after that until you get to all 100. Somebody has to pick up the phone. It's easy to avoid an email. It's easy to throw away a letter. But somebody has to physically answer every single call. And if we let it known that R&M must be stopped and raise a big enough stink, the message will get to the senators. It's our only chance. The timetable for the blackout will approach more quickly the closer people get to exposing R&M. This is extremely serious. And those of you who think I'm crazy, fuck you. Because you have no clue what you're talking about. You have no clue what I've been through. And your ignorance is going to be the reason why people lose their freedom. I am an honest person. Those of you who know me know that. So why don't you believe me of my experience? Wise up. Because I'm trying to save you after you treated me like shit. It's important that you understand reality and science and other people's experience who say that they are suffering. Is it going to kill you to believe them? Tell you what's going to kill you. Not believing. The r &M beams can create under certain frequencies what I call e-COVID. Electronic. COVID. It's a pneumonia that would mimic COVID and be confused for it in a hospital. 
don't get any more COVID testing because the swabs that are used when they go way up your nose, the liquid that they're in actually creates brain cancer. Don't wear masks. Because inside the fibers, there's nanotechnology that you inhale. Don't take the vaccine. There's stuff in it that is not identified. And yet, the pharmaceutical companies claimed ownership over us when we took the vaccine. Our human rights were taken away under the Obama administration. So we don't have right to our own bodies anymore. Don't take the boosters because they're worse than the vaccines. If you get COVID, God forbid, you have a 98 to 99% chance of surviving. That's really good. Plus, out of the population, 50% are naturally immune to COVID. You've been lied to by media and you believe it. Propaganda has told you to get vaccinated, get boosted up, wear a mask, protect other people. No. Use your brain. And you'll come up with the right answer. I hope our solstice is reason to celebrate. But so far, people are too afraid to make a difference. Chin up. It's going to be a rough ride.